in from Zach. Thoughts on Top Gun 3 being in development. So just a couple days back, it was reported that Top Gun 3 is currently in development at Paramount, not Warner Brothers. They are currently writing the script for the film. And he wants to know, what do I think about this? And this wasn't just like rumor mill. This isn't what weird stuff. This was coming from Hollywood Reporter. So this is top Hollywood trade saying this is a thing that's happening. People are actually working on this. They have sources reporting all of it. So what do I make of all of this? First off, it's not remotely surprising that they're trying to do a Top Gun 3. It's not remotely surprising that Paramount wants to do another Top Gun movie. Obvious reasons. Top Gun Maverick was the second highest grossing film of, well, now two years ago behind a James Cameron film. James Cameron only makes $2 billion films that are the highest grossing movie of the year. That's just his thing for the last 30 years. And so Top Gun Maverick is behind only that. And if you look at how much Top Gun Maverick cost versus, you know, marketing costs plus the theater cut, you still have a scenario where Paramount took home a billion dollars or whatever. <laughs> they, you know, they took home over $500 million on Top Gun Maverick. Anytime a studio does that, they want to do that again. And they want to strike while the iron is hot. And so the reports say that they are looking to uh, bring back the whole crew. Of course, Tom Cruise, my best per close personal friend I've never met, Glenn Powell, Miles Teller. They want to bring the whole crew back. Let's do it again. It makes sense that Paramount wants to do that. Now, is this a good idea? I think most of us, our gut reaction is, oh, I love the last one. Oh, cool. Wait a minute. Where do you go? The reason that Top Gun Maverick could work is because so much time had passed that you suddenly had an even more compelling story to tell about Maverick. You could build off the legacy, but, and they, so there was, it was interesting just from the get go because of that, but they did such a good job with it that it was a great on ramp as well. And most of us that even grew up on Top Gun, we think that Maverick is better than the original film. The original Top Gun is a formative film for me, and I think that this one is better. That is extraordinarily rare for me to have that sort of opinion if you follow my channel. Uh, Top Gun Maverick is a top 50 movie of all time for me, and I think I boot the original Top Gun for it. For it. Um, there's not a lot of movies that are this, that recent that make it into my top 50 of all time. It's that good. And so you kind of look at it and you go, there's two things working against this. First off, it's just so soon. What, what are you doing? Top Gun is not designed to crank out sequels the way other franchises are, the way superhero movies are. Inherently superhero movies, there's almost always another story to tell. There's a new villain, a new threat, more crime to be fought. Top Gun, even in the lore itself, Maverick is a legend because he's shot down a handful of people and no one has done that. So we're in a, like the lore of Top Gun is dogfights are extraordinarily rare. They're being, they're disappearing. And there's this one scenario where we need to do it again. And so there's only a few of these guys that have ever done, but it's extraordinarily rare. This, and this is a dying thing. So it's not obvious how you do another story. It's really not obvious how you do another story that has the same emotional resonance. So I think most of us kind of go, oh, I love the, the, the last one. Wow, it was so good. Hmm. Maybe it's better just leave it. And it's not that we can never do another one, but I, maybe it's better if we don't rush this one out. The last one took 35 years, not because they weren't thinking back in the 80s. Hey, let's do, not, let's do Top Gun 2. They've been thinking, let's do Top Gun 2 ever since Top Gun made a bazillion dollars back in 86. But... They wanted to get the right script. They wanted to do it right. Then Tom Cruise wanted to figure out a way to show things that had never been seen before in film. And so for all those reasons, it took them a very long time to make the movie. And that's also why it's so special. That's why Tom Cruise was like, no, we're not gonna throw this on streaming. We're not gonna release it in 2021 so 20 people go see it. We're gonna release it when people will actually go see this movie and we're only putting it on the big screen. 
There's a lot that goes into that that made that movie special and the amount of time they took on it. And rushing to Top Gun 3 because the first one made a lot of money doesn't feel like that. Top Gun 3, because the last one made a lot of money, feels like a financial choice. I get it. I know why you're doing it. Doing that, you will be profitable if you make that film quick enough. Uh, and that profitability means you can take risks on other things. But is it good for the franchise? At this moment, with the information we have, I would say no. I do not think it's a good idea to do Top Gun 3 right now. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.